We have created a new Gypsy application and we would like to deploy it to Microsoft Azure. For this, we are going to use the Gypster command line and we are going to type Gypster Azure App Service. This command line is going to do two things. The first one is going to send commands to Microsoft Azure in order to generate some resources there where our application will be able to run. Second thing it will do is modify our Gypster application in order to have the correct settings so it can be run on Microsoft Azure. So let's first configure Microsoft Azure. I'm going to select the default options here and we're going to go to the Azure portal in order to better understand what we are doing here. First of all, we are working inside a resource group, which is called Jipster. A resource group in Azure is just a logical grouping of resources, and this is where we are going to work. You can start with a blank resource group. In that case, Jipster will generate everything for you, or you can reuse an existing one, which is the case here. It's, of course, faster to use existing resources. This is why I'm doing this in my demo, but you might, of course, start with a blank one, and everything will be created automatically for you. We can see we have three resources here. We've got an application service plan, we've got application insights, and we've got app service. We're going to detail those three services. The first one, the plan, is the type of resource that we are using. If we go to scale up here, yeah, we can see I'm using a quite powerful plan, which is costing nearly 300 euros per month. It's quite expensive, but it's also very powerful. By default, Gypser will use a B1 plan, which is much less powerful, but also much less expensive at only 11 euro per month. The second service that we're using is called Application Insights. This is just to monitor our application in production. And the third service is called App Service. This is the container that is really running our application in production. And this is on this service that we are going to focus on now. Now that all those resources have been created, Gypster has asked here to modify a couple of files. Let's have a look at what has been modified using Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code has immediately recognized there has been two changes here, one in our maven.pom.xml file and one in an, in an application-azure.xml file. Let's look at the pom.xml file. We can see here that we've got a couple of changes. The first one, is that Jipster added a, a specific Microsoft Azure dependency, which is used to monitor our application. Secondly, Jipster has added a, a specific Maven plugin, which is used to deploy our application to Microsoft Azure. This is this plugin that Jipster is using, but once Jipster has run, you can run it by yourself by just typing Maven web app deploy. The second change, is on a file called application-azure.yaml. This is a specific Spring Boot configuration file only for Azure, and we can see that it has added a, an instrumentation key, which is being used by Application Insights to monitor our application. So those two changes are only to monitor our application and to deploy it. Otherwise, well, not much has changed on our application, and it is now ready to be running inside Azure. Let's go back to our console. So currently, Jipster is building our application. Once the application will be built, it will run the Maven plugin and it will deploy it to the Azure resource group that we have just configured before. Let's go there to watch the application being deployed. Inside our resource group, so we add our application service here. And this application service has got several menu items, but the most important one when you are deploying an application is called the log stream. The log stream is basically the console log, and you can see your application being deployed and started here. So it's very convenient when you are deploying an application. Let's have a look at our two console next to each other. So this is our Jipster command line. We see that here it has been deploying our application to Azure, and it says successfully deployed to Microsoft Azure. Then if we go back here to the Azure portal, we can see that our application is currently deploying and we can already go to the overview panel, click on Browse and see our running application. 